Yo guys, what's up? Jason Vlogs here. Today is currently a Monday and I still have actually got a bad knee. But I've used a tubey grip to put some uh, support around it. And I'm currently uh, heading into town today as I need to get a couple of bits and pieces. Now there's a car coming up the driveway. And also some exciting news as well guys. I've uh, officially uh, bought myself the uh, SLS camera which is a uh, basically the Xbox 360 Connect as it has the 3D mapping that can pick up spirits or ghost or spirit entities. So I've officially ordered that this morning on uh, Facebook and that's going to be arriving in three times day, three in three days time. So guys, with that said, I shall pick up the next part of the vlog on the way back and I shall catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Show guys. <clears throat> okay guys. As you saw at the beginning of the vlog, I mentioned I was going to go in town to get a couple of things. Well, got the two items that I managed to get in Argos. It was a tripod which you can probably still see the box sticking out the back of my bag. Because of my other one, well, the other one's kind of broken. So I've had to get myself another tripod. Plus I've had to get myself another Xbox controller because the other one also stopped working for no apparent reason. Couldn't get myself any uh, painkillers or even put in for a repeat prescription because my doctor's surgery is actually closed. And the sign on the door saying they're only taking over the phone consultations, which does not help. <laughs> Even the pharmacy was shut. Literally, I went into two or three pharmacies and half the shelves were empty. Even in the Boots Pharmacy, most of the shelves were empty in there. All right. <laughs> Mostly to do with all this nonsense to do with the coronavirus, which means people are obviously going out and buying stuff in bulk. So, yeah, I couldn't exactly do ex or get what I really wanted in town, apart from the other two items which I managed to get from Argos, and that was it. Most of the shops were shut as well in town, not, not really many shops open either. Damn, just remembered, forgot to go in the Red Line Hotel. I was going to uh, ask them to obviously let me film. Hi. Right. I was to obviously go in the Red Line Hotel and ask them to let me film the next uh, few panel progress episodes that I want to get on top of and film and catch up on video content really. I might leave it until tomorrow now. Plus I've still got a sore knee. And it's even hurting now while I'm walking on it. Literally, it is just beyond a joke going in town today. A few little shops open. Went in two pharmacies plus boots, half the shelves aren't in, they wouldn't even... They literally, I asked for some Nurofen Plus and apparently they wouldn't even let me uh, buy, any, buy any because they're all out of stock. 
All this nonsense to do with the bloody coronavirus is beyond a joke. It's stupid. It's ridiculous. People are greedy, buying things in bulk. It's bad enough I overheard a conversation when I tried to have a look in boots. Someone else was moaning about it all. Anyway guys, I should pick up the next part of the vlog a little bit later on and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo guys, right. I finally am back home now. But I had a slight problem that well yeah, I fell off my scooter. Uh, going across the uh, railway tracks to, obviously to cross. And the gates were sort of uh, about to close and I thought I'd just push the full throttle on the scooter and try and rush across before the gate shut. So I don't, didn't want to be like shut. Didn't want the gates to shut with me on the actual same side where the train was crossing. And I smashed my scooter into the side of the kerb which has now busted a tyre on my scooter. So yeah. Lucky enough I do have a spare set of tyres, but I don't have a clue. I literally don't have a clue how to actually um, change the tyres on my scooter. Not only that, as I kind of went like flying into the kerb and busting the tyre on my scooter, I obviously went flying and hit my same knee that I fell over at Roll Rock and hit that on the floor as well. And not only that, guys, come on. Oh, just caught the uh, part of the camera. Didn't mean to do that. I'm going to walk away from the vlogging space at the moment, guys. Because I really need to sit down at the moment. Because my knee is now hurting a lot more. So, uh, yeah, I ended up flying over, bumping my scooter up the kerb and, yeah, and bur bursting the tyre on the scooter on the way back home, which is not good. Should have stayed indoors, I know it. Bad idea of going out today. Not only that, went in my doctor's surgery, obviously, to obviously get a repeat prescription, do what I normally do. And I see they stuck a sign on their door. They're only taking over the phone consultation. Well, that doesn't help because I can't do a repeat prescription. Which is ridiculous. Knowing that there wasn't many shops open because of all this nonsense to do with the coronavirus. It's all over the Sky News, it's all over the BBC News, it's all, it's all over everywhere about the coronavirus. And they're calling it COVID-19, whatever the hell that is. Why don't they just call it coronavirus? Because that's the name of it. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't understand why people are being greedy in shops as well, buying everything in bulk. Not many shops are open in town either, apart from uh, Argos uh, and a few other little shops that were open. Definitely should have stayed indoors today. Well, at least I got myself another Xbox controller and a tripod because the other one's now broken. And I ordered myself the SLS camera anyway for my ghost hunting and investigating the paranormal. Anyway, guys, I shall uh, catch you guys a little bit later on because I'm going to try and get some rest and rest my knee because I literally got pain going up my knee now and time. So I shall uh, catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo guys, right as you saw in the last part of the uh, the vlog there, uh, I obviously mentioned that I ended up uh, busting the tyre on my electric scooter and now somehow I've got to fix it. Uh, however I did manage to look up a video on YouTube on how to fix the uh, obviously on how to actually take the uh, the wheel off the scooter. 
However, it requires an, a size 18 uh, spanner, which I currently don't own one. So, yeah, the only person that I know that owns a spanner is obviously my dad, so which means I'm going to have to take my electrical scooter down to my dad's. Uh, well, at some point during the, uh, the week or possibly uh, whenever my, well, when I'm not getting any pain in my knee. Uh, yeah. So, lucky enough, I do have a, a spare set of uh, tyres and plus a spare set of in tubes which actually came with my electric scooter, which is handy. But the only other thing is, I don't know where I'm gonna, if I need to get any more. I don't know what website I have to go on. I'll have to obviously uh, email Halfords and ask them what site. So, uh, also, um, I was obviously hoping not to, uh, obviously going to the Red Line Hotel today to ask them if I can still like film the next Power Fault Guys episode. Uh, I literally completely forgot about like, going down to the Red Line Hotel. Plus not only that, with all this nonsense with the coronavirus and there's not many shops open in town. And not only that, I couldn't exactly go into my doctors as they were only doing over the phone consultations, which does not really help for if you if you want to put in for like a repeat prescription. So at the moment I am currently like out of painkillers at the moment, apart from paracetamol, which I, it's the same thing I have because of the pain in my knee really hurts. Like, even now, as I'm supposed to be obviously resting my knee, and it's hurting right now because I'm standing on it. I'm sure, I've actually got the uh, stool out. I actually have a stool to sit on. But I've not even been bothered to get that out either. Plus I've got a lot of other things on my mind anyway. So, not only that, I've got also trying to sort out about my hospital appointment that's coming up in uh, on April the 1st. Because uh, with all this nonsense to do with the coronavirus, uh, they're also thinking of uh, putting the whole country on lockdown so you can't travel anyway. And that does not really help when I've got a hospital appointment coming up. Anyway, knowing that, uh, I recently found out the Addenbrooke Hospital had the uh, two wards on, well, Addenbrooke Hospital, the uh, two wards actually ended up getting the coronavirus. So, yeah, I found that out on the, on the, uh, on the news. And with my hospital appointment coming up on the 1st of April, I don't quite frankly want to be going to Addenbrooke's and if there's the coronavirus going around the hospital, which I don't really want to get. I am actually avoiding of going out if I can, because there's so many people walking around with the uh, masks over their mouth and it, yeah, mostly actually the Chinese people I see walking around my neighbourhood actually, they have this like blue mask over their mouth and it's like why? It's ridiculous, it's just, it's so out of hand with this coronavirus. It's all over the news, all over social media. It's absolutely bollocks. That's my opinion about it, bollocks. Because it's just so out of hand with it all now. So like every day I just hear it on the news when I'm listening to the radio. It's just there on the news, you know. <sighs> anyway guys, I'm going to say that's going to be it for, it for the uh, Monday's vlog and I shall see you guys tomorrow in Tuesday's vlogs. Yo guys, what's up? Jason's vlogs here. Today's currently a Tuesday. And right now I'm currently at my dad's at the moment. Uh, well, my plan was to obviously uh, try and fix the tyre on my scooter. And um, obviously I watched a video on YouTube thinking it was going to be simple. However, it wasn't as simple as I thought it was going to be. So I ended up having to take my scooter down to Halfords and I've asked them to sort of changed the uh, tyre over for me however as I've left a, 
a bolt behind. I've had to obviously come back to pick up the bolt, which the guy needs to actually put the wheel back on with. Oh, biscuits. Let's show you. Awesome. All right. <sighs> Leave that back there. <clears throat> and I forgot my handheld tripod, it's in my bag. Not that I'm going to need it, am I? I thought I was going to let the door slam. He, 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 he does that. <laughs> is that still recording? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Good. Because <laughs> my finger's right on top of the button. <laughs> I just went in down. No. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. You've already got your seatbelt oh, on. I know. <laughs> I wish I'd turned the camera on that to him. <laughs> uh, mind you, I need to put my seatbelt on actually. <laughs> I wish I'd turned the camera on you then. <laughs> I didn't even notice until you said. Back down to the uh, Halfords with the uh, the bolt. There's a sort of accidentally left the bolt behind that the guy is going to need to obviously uh, use to put the uh, the wheel back on my scooter. So I'll catch you guys in the next part of the vlog. Bye for now. Yo guys, right as you saw in the last part of the vlog. I ended up taking my uh, electric scooter down to Halfords to obviously uh, get it fixed and the guy in Halfords did fix it and he's even put a whole new tyre on the front of, of the uh, scooter as well which is a good thing so yeah I'm going to officially start using my electric scooter as normal as I feel I've finally got the, uh, the busted wheel fixed on it uh, also while I was in Halfords I got myself one of those uh, Luminous jacket things, a visible jacket. Is that what they're called out? Visible jacket, isn't it? Yeah, a high, yeah, high, high, vis, yeah. high vis jacket, that's what a I High vis jacket. Which I'm going to also wear so I can be spotted on the road. I'm going to use them by the way. I'm going to punch your packets. There you go in there. I'm sticking them in there, yeah. Yeah. I'm putting the bag actually, front. Anyway guys, with that said, I shall uh, pick up the next part of the vlog as soon as I get in and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Okay guys, as you saw in the last part of the vlog, I was obviously at my dad's uh, explaining the fact that I had to take my electric scooter down to Halfords as I did obviously attempt to try and obviously fix my electric scooter with the uh, tyre on it which I burst, I tried to fix it myself. And uh, it really failed, and well, let's just say I couldn't exactly uh, fix a punctured wheel on my electric scooter. Obviously, it was I ended up taking it down to Halfords and get them to 
I regret. However, I also just looked back on the uh, last part of the vlog I did at my dad's and I just noticed that the fact you can't even see my face. I look like a black silhouette and yeah. So that's just kind of why I'm now just sort of had to explain that obviously I did take my scooter down to help it and I had looked back and fixed it. And finally, for the rest of the evening, well, let's just say that does conclude the uh, Tuesday's vlog. So guys, with that said, that will be it for Tuesday's vlog and I shall see you guys tomorrow in Wednesday's vlogs. Yo guys, so Jason's vlogs here. Today is currently a Wednesday and as you all know in yesterday's vlog I ended up having to take my electric scooter down to Halfords to obviously uh, get them to fix the uh, inner tube in the uh, tyre for me. And not only that, I did mention in the beginning of yesterday's vlog I ordered myself the SLS camera which is the uh, Xbox 360 Connect camera, which a lot of power investigators use to obviously uh, to actually uh, see like spirits and basically what the Connect does is maps in stick figures as it has the 3D uh, mapping built in the uh, Xbox 360 uh, Connect. And well, this morning I have some exciting news. The uh, SLS Connect camera turned up in the uh, post this morning and which I'm quite happy and pleased with that it turned up in the post and in fact I'm going to show you guys this is ex this is what turned up in the post obviously it was all, all boxed and wrapped with bubble wrapping and stuff and the only thing that I had to obviously set up was to obviously connect the the part that holds the, the tablet in was obviously I screwed that to here and then place the tablet within the holding area and I'm quite pleased and happy with it. The only other thing I've got to get is some batteries for it, some rechargeable ones. So I can recharge the batteries because it takes about eight uh, AA batteries in the uh, battery um, docking area which is in fact to power the actual connect itself is in fact this battery pack here and I don't know if recently I mentioned that I was going to try and build one of these myself however because I didn't I didn't know how to power the connect itself I didn't know about the whole battery pack thing that powers the connect and possibly the tablet. So I went with the option of um, looking on uh, some of the uh, Facebook uh, sale pages, mostly to do with selling panel or panel or ghost hunting equipment. And that's when I came across a guy selling an SLS Connect camera. So that's the option I went with of buying one instead. Because I say it's me the hassle of building one myself and, and I don't really know much about building the SLS cameras. So yeah, like I said, quite happy with uh, the one that I've brought. Uh, I have already uh, got a set a spare of rechargeable batteries that I've just stuck in the uh, battery uh, holding area for now. But I'm gonna obviously go out in, in the town in a little while and get some uh, Recharge all batteries from somewhere for it, so I can uh, obviously, uh, well, yeah, have decent batteries that I can use and recharge and so on. So that's the SLS Connect camera. Uh, not only that, also in a minute, I'm also going to get myself ready to go out and head down to my doctor's. I'm going to see if they are open because I really need to put in a prescription for some more painkillers that I need. 
Plus I've got another, also, another prescription that I need to go down and sort out as well. And I'm not really going to explain what that other prescription is for because it's to do with my health condition. So, yeah, with that said guys, I shall uh, possibly pick up the next part of the vlog either on the way down to my doctor's or possibly on the way back from my doctor's and I shall catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo guys, right, just uh, had to obviously uh, stop and do a vlog update, obviously. Did eventually, uh, well, go down to my doctor's, just find out that this, they're still closed. As uh, Monday, I did try to go down there to obviously to out a repeat, repeat prescription. And literally, they're still closed because of all this nonsense to do with the coronavirus. To be honest, it's stupid and it's ridiculous and it's totally all got out of hand. It's ridiculous. But I decided, as the pharmacy was like open for the next couple of hours, I asked them to print off a repeat uh, of my prescription. And I sort of posted it through the doctor surgery uh, front door, through the letterbox. So, that's one way to get a prescription done. Knowing that I have also uh, decided to go in town, I did mention I needed to get some uh, rechargeable batteries for the SLS Connect camera. And also I've had to get Lucky some more cat meat as she's running low on it. Plus I've got myself some more milk and cereal. And at the moment I'm kind of struggling to get back home because I've got a heavy bag of stuff in my bag on my back plus a bag on my scooter handle. So I'm going to possibly pick up the next part of the vlog as soon as I get indoors and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Okay guys, as you saw in the last part of the vlog there, I did uh, obviously mention that I did uh, finally put in a uh, repeat prescription at my doctor's by obviously going into the pharmacy and asking them to print off a uh, repeat prescription, as uh, that was the only way that I could obviously put in for a repeat prescription is by doing that and then posting it through the uh, doctor's surgery that box on the uh, door. As obviously with this nonsense with the coronavirus going on, and obviously my doctor said we is actually shut and they're only doing it over the phone consultations which really does not help knowing that I also read on the doctor said we door that the uh, what said on the sign was if any patients have any appointments to see a GP you have to phone up your surgery and speak to your doctor over the phone yeah that's not really going to help many patients Somehow it's not anyway. Anyway, besides that, I want to uh, talk about something else anyway. Uh, right, as you know, uh, I have also recently started uploading a, well, started uploading a, you know, two videos of Forza Motorsports uh, 7. As I am actually now currently uh, in the middle of working on another uh, Forza Motorsports uh, seven uh, video I'm actually halfway through in middle of obviously working on a third video hoping to have the video finished by the end of this week's vlog or if not hopefully by the next week's vlog or during the weekend whenever I can actually decide to actually uh, finish the uh, next uh, for the most what's a uh, seven video anyway Knowing that, now I officially have the uh, SLS Connect camera. I'm going to um, hopefully now, probably next week. Now I'm going yeah, to leave it until next week because I need to actually organise of investigating the Red Line Hotel. As obviously uh, I was waiting for the, uh, my SLS Connect camera to turn up in the post, and as it arrived this morning, and I'm really happy and chuffed with it. So, with that said guys, that is going to be it for the uh, the Wednesday's vlog and I shall see you guys tomorrow in Thursday's vlogs.
Yo yeah, guys, so Jason's vlogs here. Today is currently a Thursday and uh, haven't got really much planned at the moment for today. Um, as you all know, at the end of yesterday's vlog, I mentioned that I am currently working on the next uh, Forza Motorsports uh, game video. I am also in the middle of doing that right now. Obviously, I've uh, decided to start off today's vlog while I'm in the middle of doing the uh, Forza Motorsports uh, 7 game video and I'm hoping to have that video uploaded by the end of next week and as well as uh, now that I officially now own a uh, SLS Connect camera I can uh, now perhaps go down to the Red Lion Hotel and ask them if I can do the uh, investigation and film the uh, next uh, Power of Guys episode as well and uh, yeah basically I'm sort of uh, slowly getting back on track on doing my ghost hunting as well as uh, some gaming content as well for my, uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, I may have mentioned probably the, what the end of last year that I was going to try and uh, add like the Facebook um, vlogs as well to my YouTube channel. I've not yet done that because uh, it's very rare that I do videos on Facebook. Uh, well, I'm not going to be doing any sort of videos on Facebook anyway. Because I don't really post much on there anyway. Apart from if I'm uh, uploading a PowerPoint Vice uh, video on my PowerPoint Vice Facebook page. Which I will also leave in... I'll leave a link in the description box at the end of this week's vlog as well for the Power of Progress Facebook page. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of pretty much it for um, the uh, Thursday's vlog. Um, if I can think of anything else, I will uh, Possibly update the uh, vlog in the second part later on today. And I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yo guys, right. As from the last part of the vlog, I mentioned that I was trying to work on another Forza Motorsports gameplay video. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do that because my Xbox is now being backwards and retarded. It doesn't want to. Uh, record the correct game clip for my game video. Um, knowing that it's not downloading the video anyway, so I can't continue with the uh, Forza Motorsports um, game video. So unfortunately now uh, that video would not be no longer and um, be uploaded and coming out to my YouTube channel, so sorry guys about that. Can't even upload another game video or any type of video at the moment because like I said, my Xbox is being backwards and retarded and not doing what I want it to do. I'm actually kind of getting to fed up with that Xbox ones. I'm, I'm going to try and look out for see if I can get the new Xbox console, which is the uh, Xbox X or whatever the hell it's called. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, I want to try and get hold of the new game console if I can, the new Xbox. Because the one I've got is naff. It's now just being backwards and retarded, just like the rest of the world is being backwards and retarded about this coronavirus. It's pathetic and it's out of hand. People walk around with stupid blue masks over their mouth. Seriously. It's pathetic, this world is. It really is. So guys, that is going to be it for the uh, Thursday's vlog. So I shall see you guys tomorrow in Friday's vlogs. Yo guys, so Jason's vlogs here. Today is currently a Friday, and you all know that means the end of this week's vlog. Uh, in a short while, I'm gonna obviously get myself ready to go out to head down to the uh, pharmacy to see if my prescription's been done, as I need to pick up my uh, tablets and stuff that I need. And also, hopefully, uh, now that I officially have the SOS Connect camera, I'm going to hopefully, uh, either during the weekend or possibly in, in next week's vlog, I'm 
They're hopefully going to be planning on going down to the Red Line Hotel to obviously film the uh, next new uh, Panel Park Vice episodes. Uh, when I say episodes, actually the uh, episode to do with the uh, Red Line uh, Hotel, which is said to be haunted by a chambermaid and also a monk that haunts the hotel, as well as a apparition of a small boy that also haunts the hotel as well. So I'm looking forward to obviously going down there to uh, investigate the Red Line Hotel, see what paranormal evidence that I can capture on, on video or some sort of uh, evidence of uh, the existence of the uh, chambermaid and the apparition of a monk and the apparition of a boy that haunts the hotel. So I shall possibly pick up the next part of the vlog on the way back from my doctors and I shall see you guys in the second part. Bye for now. Yo guys. All right. As you saw in the, in the uh, beginning of the vlog, I was obviously uh, at home getting myself ready to, ready to go out down to my uh, dog surgery or should I say the pharmacy to pick up my prescription and yesterday I had a phone call from my doctor surgery saying that my prescription was going to be sent over to the pharmacy huh. well my doctor surgery are such liars because they didn't send my prescription over to the pharmacy whatsoever not only that, when I got down to the pharmacy, there are only letting only two people in the pharmacy and making people queue outside of the actual pharmacy door. Just because of all this nonsense and utter rubbish to do with the stupid coronavirus. I think it's... Well, it's all out of hand, the way they're dealing with the whole situation. It's pathetic and stupid. Not only that, I've already seen a lot of people wearing the stupid blue masks over their mouth. Utter stupid, it really is. But yeah, I eventually did manage to get my prescription. I had to phone up the uh, doctor's surgery. <sighs> so as I had to phone up the uh, doctor's surgery, and uh, do apologise about the wind. <laughs> but yeah, phone up my sur the doctor's surgery. Got the to uh, sign my prescription because apparently uh, it was still in, in the actual doctor surgery behind the reception so the lady uh, from the doctor surgery to oh god that's so windy wait a minute I will carry on vlogging in a minute when the wind stops as I was trying to explain, the lady from the uh... right, I'm just going to stop here for a minute because it's really windy. Okay, as I was trying to explain before the wind got so high, and, yeah, the lady from the uh, doctor's surgery had to bring my uh, prescription out to me. Then I'd obviously go back and then queue, yeah, just stand in the queue outside the pharmacy again, which was already, the queue was already going out, literally out of the building, literally onto the road, the queue was. And perfect timing, a train going over.
don't know what it is, but I always seem to like to film a train going over. So now I'm obviously currently making my way back home. guys I'm gonna pick up the uh, next part of the vlog as soon as I get home and I'll catch you guys soon <laughs> bye for now okay guys as you saw in the last part of the vlog I was obviously uh, making my way back from the uh, pharmacy slash the uh, my doctor surgery to obviously sort out my prescription as they uh, my doctor obviously messed me about with my prescription by telling me that they would sent it over to the pharmacy. Then I get all the way down there to find out that they didn't do that. But eventually I did uh, obviously get my prescription sorted out and managed to also get my tablets that I needed. And also I did mention the possibly either over the weekend or over the period of next week's uh, vlog. I'm gonna obviously go down to the Redline Hotel to obviously film the next new Power and Progress episode as well so I've got that also planned over the period of next week uh, so that is going to um, possibly uh, be it for this week's uh, vlog um, so yeah be sure to subscribe and click the uh, notification bell and that way you guys get notified when I next upload a weekly vlog or a uh, game video or any kind of content or like a new Power Pop Rice episode. So I shall see you guys in next week's vlogs.